history of complaints. Do you have any comment for your tenants who are without hot water, without heating, without an elevator? Well, I would contact Millennia for that. Fox 13's Kate Beery has been questioning Millennia property management about living conditions for months, even having the door closed in her face. This is a public door, sir. You can't You're right. just shut it. You're absolutely right. I'm not trying to shut it in your face. Tonight, results from the federal government. Good evening to you. I'm Daniel Wilkerson. Daryl Green and Darcy Thomas have the evening off. It's the answer Memphis renters have been waiting on. They've been contacting Fox 13 about living conditions for years, and they are not alone. Fox 13 Your Money investigator Kate Beery got word late this afternoon the nation's top housing authority is taking action against Millennia Housing. She joins us live from outside Serenity Towers. Kate, this is huge news. Daniel, moments ago, our newsroom received this letter from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The agency accuses Millennia Housing Management of mismanaging security deposits and taxpayer dollars. Now, this is a company that's received millions in tax breaks over the years, and for the past new... For the past year, our newsroom has done our best at holding them accountable for the dollars they receive in Memphis. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. From broken elevators. Why the world do we not matter? To safety concerns. The doors right now at Memphis Towers do not work. To eviction threats. They're going to be put out of their own homes for no reason, for paying rent every month on time. And they're saying you owe 437 737 Do you owe that money, Mary? No. For months, the seniors in the Memphis Tenants Union demanded that Millennia receive no more local tax breaks. The heating not working? I mean, have you felt this cold weather? We've had residents trapped on the 10th floor of Hope Heights in wheelchairs, unable to leave. What's your response to that? Hey, I can't comment on that. Why not? Because I'm not with the management company. Week after week, we attempted to hold the Ohio-based company accountable. Do you have any comment for your tenants who are without hot water, without heating, without an elevator? Well, I would contact Millennia for that. The company has how many millions of dollars? I mean, how hard is it to fix an elevator? Uh, you'll have to contact the company. I represent them. They're my client. At this moment, the action by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development will prevent Millennia from entering into, quote, any new business with any federal government agency, including HUD. And the department is taking steps to bar the company and its CEO from all federal programs, including Section 8, for five years. If the issues are getting fixed, why are we here week after week? But company leaders would not always answer our questions this year. You had a person trapped on the eighth floor a few weeks ago because the elevators were not working. I mean, why are these issues not getting fixed? I believe the issue, issues are getting fixed. Will managers stop retaliating much. against those who... Not aware of that. Thank you. You're not aware of any retaliation from management? No, I'm not. What about all the public comments that were given to me? This is a public door, sir. You can't You're right. just shut it. You're absolutely right. I'm not trying to shut it in your face. I think he's full of <laughs> This is a bunch of <laughs> This is a bunch of malaki. And the tenants inside apartments like Serenity Towers in East Memphis, they call this a victory, but for now, Millennia Housing Management will continue to collect the rent. The company sent us a statement which reads in part, quote, Millennia is aware of HUD's concerns and has taken actions to address them while supporting a business model through increasingly challenging economic times. While Millennia understands the significance of HUD's concerns, Millennia has not been debarred, and it's important to note that there is currently only a suspension specifically from new business. And you can read that full statement on fox13memphis.com if you click on your money. Daniel? Kate, I tell you, a lot of people emotionally vested in this. This is a huge development, like I said, off the top of the story. You've been following it faithfully. Uh, I went over to Memphis Towers right after you broke this story, and I want to share with you the comments from those tenants. Kate, I love you. I love you, and we love you so much, and keep up the good work. Thank y'all, Fox 13. Kate, I know this is attention you probably do not want, but I tell you, those people over there tonight, they are praising you. And I tell you, as journalists, advocating for people uh, who don't feel like they have a voice, that is what we live for. Uh, I tell you, it's something else. 
Daniel, you, me, everyone in our newsroom, you know, we receive dozens of calls every week about apartment complexes across the city, but I think we can all agree that we want to see, especially our senior citizens in places that they feel are safe, in loving, happy environments. So, hey, you, me, everyone in our newsroom, we take these calls every day, and it's our duty to help those who don't have the resources to speak out themselves. Yeah, yeah, we try hard not to show sides as journalists, uh, but you sometimes get emotionally uh, vested. But uh, you have really covered this, I think, in a fair way on both sides. That's Kate Beery for us, your, our Your Money investigator. Now, digging a little deeper into this, while Fox 13 has been covering millennia locally, the company owns 280 apartment complexes across the country. And this HUD action came out of a series of issues, really, including a fire that killed three people at a Millennia apartment in Little Rock. And this is video from Bolivar County, Mississippi in September of last year. A carbon monoxide leak at the Sunset Village apartments killed a mother and son. As long as our community is impacted by this action, you can believe Fox 13 is committed to continuing our coverage. Kate, by the way, will be back at six digging into what this means for current renters.